what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel and today we're heading to a very special place today it's a place close to my house and a place that i cherish you know it's, it's my local grocery store and today i'm making my own food because i'm hungry so i start off by making my own masa grilling my own chicken um cutting the chicken breast into slices grilling it you know and then once the masa is cooked uh put it together and basically it's kind of like a quesadilla um if this was a, if this would have been swiss cheese um the name of this would have been called pechuga suiza but since i used pepper jack it's basically just a quesadilla and notice how it's loaded with two big chicken breasts and a bunch of cheese so i put made myself a good portion size quesadilla i made sure everything was heated to the proper level that way i can enjoy it as if i would have you know ordered it at a restaurant and it came out super delicious you know it didn't come out too expensive it basically cost me around i want to say about 20 something dollars but i made like 10 of these so me and my brother got to eat for like 20 bucks and you know it wasn't too bad you know it was satisfying and it was delicious it wasn't it wasn't expensive so basically this is what i've been used to you know i, I grew up uh, used to eating stuff like this for the price that about 20 bucks you know we would eat with my family and you know instead of going to restaurants we would, we would go to the grocery store buy a bunch of groceries come back cook it and everybody would eat good and and my mom would tell me know you know how much she spent so this is the kind of the portion that i expect to eat normally for my for my money and for the most part um it's not too bad even when i go out um on this day it was my birthday you know i went out to the chumash to claim my 50 dollar prize it was like a 50 dollar um free play on my card so i try to come down here i try to claim it and i think i made like 10 or 20 bucks so i decided to get something to eat i was really hungry and you know i never been to the sports bar it's i think it's a new sports bar that's upstairs at the chumash casino and it's nice you know it's a real nice area it looks fancy it's a big area you can order a bunch of different foods here Hi, right, so i'm at the chumash casino at the sports bar um i just got ordered uh, some chicken wings i've never been here before i've been to the chumash for like i've been coming to the chumash for like years for years years and i've never um ordered here before so i decided to order here and uh, check it out we got a little booth um with the tv so you got a little table right here a little private booth and i'm inside the, the sports the sports bar um inside the sports bar there's a little private booth uh, pretty cool. Uh, it's my first time here. I didn't know that, that this ex existed, so I'm gonna try the food out. Hopefully it's good and maybe next time I'll bring some people over and uh, we'll have a big meal. Alright, so let's check out the menu. It's the sports bar and grill up here. And a quick look. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and order the first thing on the menu. It's just way too many things on here. Um, I ordered the habanero sauce chicken wings and to be honest with you guys this was really good it was delicious um i didn't expect it to be too spicy but it was i think i had two full glasses of water with it so keep that in mind um but it was delicious and the price was fair for the meal all in all i rate this 9 out of 10 um simply because it did have a little bit too much fat but it was absolutely delicious now this next meal however um i'm not sure what to say about it came with one piece of ham two pieces of tomato, um, some lettuce and mayo, but the bacon came out all burnt. And this place is supposed to be the one place to play um, poker tournaments in LA, but their food can be better. Now let's talk poker. As far as poker is concerned, um, I've recently been on the money list. I've, I've, had, I've managed to put myself on the all time poker list, I guess it is. And it's pretty far down there, but I mean, as you can see, I haven't played many tournaments. I just recently started playing tournaments and not because I'm more into it or because I have money, um, but simply because I've been winning, you know, I managed to turn 100 into 300 and I played a tournament that cost me 150 that got me a thousand dollars. Then I started to play um, bigger tournaments that costed 250 and 400 dollars. Um, I did uh, make day two into a $1,400 seat, the mini millions. It was a million dollar tournament and there was no refund on that seat. So I had to play it. But as you can see, I've been playing more tournaments and not because I have money, but because um, I have been earning a little bit of money. And a lot of the times the, um, the seat is not transferable. So if I do win a seat into a tournament, I have to play it. And I'm more than willing to play it because I mean, it's for a million dollars. So I'm hoping to win one of these seats. And, you know, I don't have a job right now. I'm still injured. So it's my only source of income. 
but it's not it's not a secure income you know i still need uh, a constant type of income coming in because i know one of these losses if i lose two days in a row that's basically it you know like i'll be broke you know so i have to like at least win one day or not lose that bad and then try to win the next day but basically if i would lose two days in a row since i'm i have very little bit of money uh, i'm gonna go broke and it's not much, you know, I have like about three hundred, four hundred dollars but I mean, it's nothing, you know, I don't have a job, I don't have no income, you know, like I have to keep winning. So with that being said, um, let's switch it up and show you a little bit of uh, footage of some of my poker plays. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more of these type of videos, just hit the like, hit the subscribe and enjoy the rest of the video. Beautiful Lady Luck Casino. There's four tournaments, four tables left. Pretty, everybody has pretty average chip stacks. Um, yeah, everybody has pretty, pretty much the same amount of chip stacks. Four tables left. Pretty exciting. These guys have the most chips on all the tables. So these guys are probably going to be the chip leaders over here. <laughs> all right, so let's play the folding game. After folding what seemed like eternity, um, I finally pick up the hand, but the problem is, is the player who shoved all in, he looks way too relaxed, you know, he has his elbow on the table, and he's risking everything right away under the gun, it's too risky. Alright, so on this next hand, you know, I finally get a chance to play one, uh, I have the button, I'm in position, I have pocket tens, it's small blind, big blind, um... I think it's 1,000, 2,000, 2,000. I forgot what level we were in, but um, I definitely made a raise after somebody tried to limp in there. Um, he's been aggressive throughout the whole tournament, so I decided to repop it on him, and I made it 12,000. And the small blind and the big blind quickly get out of the way. So it's all up to the under the gun aggressor. Uh, it's only 10,000 more for him, so he, go, has, he goes ahead and just smooth calls, and we go to a flop. And the flop come 10 ace 8 under the gun checks and I check behind to try to set a trap um, The turn brings a deuce which is really irrelevant. There's no flush draw. There's no straight draw really um, ace 10 8 deuce um, And to my surprise under the gun um, leads out for about 25,000 and at this point i probably could have shipped it but i didn't know what he have um what he had you know um he could have been on aces you know uh, pocket aces just slow playing this um but with that being said he didn't raise it too much with pocket aces and you know um i just decided to cost at the trap you know see if he just to see what he's on you know maybe he has a weak ace uh, maybe he can get two pair on the river uh the river brings um that brings another two so i hit a full house and he leads out again and at this point i just gonna shove everything in um let's play for stacks if he has anything you know uh relevant um he's gonna call it if he doesn't he's gonna fold but i have a full house So the guy showed that he had ace 10 two pair um he flopped two pair i flopped a set and it was no wonder we were both trying to slow play that but you know it ended up working out for me because i got a full boat at the end and all is good you know i'm moving forward in this tournament So my plan is to keep as much chips as I can. So I basically went back to folding and the blinds were going to increase anyways. So I was just going to wait it out for the next blind. And then I got pocket eights, snowmans, the infinity stones, whatever it is that you want to call it. 
that's what I got right at the end of the last uh, this level. And it's only 4000 to call, so I'm going to go ahead and just call it, see if anybody raises it. Um, depending on what the raise is, I might call. But if they let me see a flop, um, I'm willing to see a flop with pocket eight. So let's get it. And, and fortunately enough, nobody raised it, so that's pretty cool. And the flop comes 8, 5, 10. I don't believe it. The best flop in the world. I make a continuation bet of 17,000, and I go heads up with one player. The turn brings a possible straight um, with straight draws. So for that reason, when he checks, um, I put a pretty big bet out there just to see if... Um, if he has it, then he'll probably raise it. But if he doesn't have it, uh, most likely he'll just call. So I put a little $15,000 bet out there and he called. The river brings an irrelevant three. So at this point, I'm thinking if he didn't hit the straight already, I'm good. Um, now I just want to see how much he's willing to call. You know, there's a lot in there, 78,000. So I put another 30,000 in there and see if it entices him as you can see he gets a little bit frustrated because he's probably much pot committed if he has a, um that 10 but i show him my set of eights and there So without getting too excited or trying to show too much emotion, um, I raise it 25000 And the guy in the cutoff reships it for all his stack. So I basically just wait for everybody to fold so I can call. And that's exactly what I do. And I see that I'm up against Ace King of Diamonds. And all they need to do is just hold. Just hold, baby. Come on, Pocket Aces, Pocket Rockets. Oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Nice, you didn't. All right, baby, let's get there. Final table, here we come. Would you? Oh, nice. Good thing he shoved. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And as you can see, I was still trying to stack my chips when I got my next hand. Um, so just bear with me. But this next hand is a good one. Uh, I almost folded it just because I wanted to keep stacking my chips. But then I was like, no, you know, I'm going to call it just to see what happens. It's only 6,000. I'm stacking now, you know. Nobody raised it. And so it goes all the way around to small blind, big blind. They check. And we go three ways to the flop. The flop comes queen, queen, jack, and I don't believe my eyes. I have to check that because I just hit that too hard. Um, the nine brings a straight out there, like a possible straight draw or straight already, plus two flush draws. So I'm going to try to bet it, see if um, if they hit it, they hit it. If they don't, they don't. So I'm going to bet small, just 10,000. Um, the turn comes a king, so that's perfect. I got a full house. Nothing can beat me. The opponent decides to lead out for 15,000 and that's not going to be enough, especially when I have the nuts. So I'm going to apply full pressure and ship it for all his stack. And if he calls me, I'm going to be definitely making the uh, final table today. Um, and today is actually August 17th, 2024. I'm out here in LA. I had an opportunity to come play. I did get sponsored by my brother. He's cool. He's cool like that. He's a working man. He has three jobs. He decided to sponsor me this tournament and you know luckily he did because i'm making profits today so with that being said let's cross our fingers hope he calls it he ends up making the fold but i still scoop up a big pot 
And yup, just like that, I am the chip leader, baby. And believe it or not, I'm on a heater. Check it out. Pocket tens under the gun. I'm gonna raise a sixteen thousand and see if anybody wants to battle with the new chip leader. Nobody wants to battle. So get full the round. I'll take it. I'll take it. Screw with me. Pocket tens, baby. Yeah. So on this next hand, we're under the gun and we pick up pocket jiggities, pocket jacks, los jotitos, as they say in Spanish. And I'm scared because I'm first to act. I do have the chips, though. But for that reason, I'm just going to raise it 20,000 just to see where I'm at. If I get a re-raise, depending on how much it is, I might not call it if they go all in because it's final table time. And everybody's going to be shipping their stack. All the short stacks are going to be shipping it. And, you know, depending on how much it is, I might fold or I might call it. Ouch. So it looks like it's getting folded around, though. My next hand is in the hijack with ace-10 offsuit. And nobody really was in it. Everybody was folding, so I tried to take it down. I put a $25,000 bet. And it folds around to the small blind, I believe, or the big blind. Um, the big blind decides to defend, and he puts his money in there. And we go to a flop. So the villain across the table bets 20,000 and I think it's safe to fold here. I mean, I need a miracle jack and I don't think I'm going to hit it. I don't have any other draws and I'm just looking for a gutter. So I'm just going to lay it down. No, I'm, serious. Just, just... I'm serious. I will pay you 200 if you hit the first place. I accept it. Let's just play the bubble. Let's just play the bubble. Uh, let's yeah? just play. Let's just play. So what you just heard there is some lady trying to convince me to pay three extra people. They're trying to tell me that they should take money off the, off the prize pool and pay three extra additional players. Um, and I believe they're all in the league. So I wasn't having any of it because the guy um, across from me to the left, I'm not going to name who it is. I'm not going to show you his face either. But um, he tried to get up in a way that was like threatening. He pretty much called me a little kid, you know, and like I told him that he's the one crying. And so everybody's trying to convince me to pay him, but I don't want to pay him. Um, I can't. I can't. I can't let it go. What do you mean? Yeah, I, I told you, I, I, I explained to you that it was better just not to, it's on you. Not to chop. No, no, it's on you. They're taking their time. Right? They're trying to give you the, give them 200. I know. Give them 200. Yeah. No, I will pay you're you. You're the you one telling me that I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this is. I know, let's play. Come on. He's still, he's. Taking it through. Offer under table. I'll pay you when you hit the first. 400. If you hit the first. <laughs> No, I'm serious. So as you can see, they're trying to offer me so I could include a couple players to get paid. But the guy who's lagging it, who does want to make a decision, um, he's pretty much going to be, um, he has less than the big blind. And he's going to be big blind in two hands. So he's taking three minutes off of each hand. Basically, nobody's calling clock on him because they're all friends with them. And, you know, I'm not willing to chop, you know, for the reason because he did get up. He smashed the table with his fist. He got up acting like he was tough. You know, he's looking at me all crazy. Um, and I laughed it off, you know, because, I mean, he just he's acting like a little kid and he's calling me childish so i didn't want to chop but ultimately what i ended up doing is we ended up paying the bubble um and i ended up um playing it out in the final table and i'll let you see what that looks like Yeah, yeah. I swear, you, you have my word. 
If you need the first place, I'll pay you for it. Oh, it's all right. It's not even about that anymore. It's not on me, it's on you. I'm, that's what I mean. That's exactly what I'm saying to you. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to sit here until you figure something out. <laughs> Tell that to the rest of the table. It's not on no, me. No, no, it's fine. They're all fully aware of what I'm talking about. Okay. Right now. Okay. 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 And it has nothing to do with the bubble. Do I have time to get a beer? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you. So no joke, I didn't call time on him. The director allowed this to happen. He even busted out a book at one point, started reading. Um, the other guy came back with his beer. And I believe they all know each other. They're all friends. They're on a league or something. But, I mean, like I said, I did end up including this guy in the payout. Um, and we did end up playing until the final table. So with that being said, let me fast forward to it because this is kind of ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, one, maybe. And it's crazy how um, these guys or these professional <laughs> poker players were talking about etiquette and professionalism and how we were all been here for six plus hours and it should be fair that we all get paid. But I mean, look how they're acting, you know, if they're on the league, then they should be ashamed of themselves. Um, as you can see, I'm in a league on my own because I was the only one that kept saying no chop, no, don't include these guys, you know, these guys, if they're not winners, they're losers, that's all. So with that being said, this is the final table and I was pretty much over it already. It was about 12 in the morning I still had two hour drive to get back to Santa Barbara. Um, everybody limped in, I was in the cutoff right before the button and I shipped it with 10-8 and let's see what happens. I gotta go to UCLA and buy some more chip back. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> And my son's coming down. Three all-in the guys. Three all-in burgers. Three all-in burgers with a side of french fries. It doesn't matter. I know. Oh, wait. <laughs> How much more? Straight. <clears throat> oh, no, straight about the tans. Don't matter to me. So as you can see there, she ends up folding and spoiler alert, I do end up hitting a straight. However, the guy who shipped it all in had pocket queens and on the turn hit a queen in the river, gave him a full house. I do remember I hit a straight and celebrating early in my mind, but then he hit a full boat. And so with that, that being said, I was out. I was out in seventh place. I made, um, I think, 550. It cost me 150 to enter. It cost me about 50 bucks to get there. So a profit about 300 bucks. I wish I could have took first place because then I could have been able to pay everything off. But that being said, all in all, it was a good tournament. Um, you guys want to see more tournaments like this? Want to see more action? Um, just hit the like, the subscribe.